As a corporate trainer, I'd like to share a few bits of workplace advice for millennials or other early career professionals that your first boss probably won't give you, but should. First, work hard. Come in early, stay late, and pay your dues. These days, it seems like there's so much focus, appropriately so, on work-life balance and alternative work schedules. But the reality is that new hires are often on a steep learning curve, and working harder than most is a great way to build your brand as a hard worker, learn your industry or functional area, and build some critical goodwill with your new team. Also, it's a complete buzzkill when you seem more interested in the fine print on the telework policy and four-day workweek options before you've even gotten your ID badge. If your specific situation requires a particular schedule or time off, certainly negotiate that before accepting the position. But once you're there, focus your energy on developing a reputation as the one working circles around everyone else. Not in an unhealthy workaholic way, but just focused, determined, and dedicated. Next, always make the boss look good. Yes, there are probably some extreme circumstances where this wouldn't hold true, but in general, always look for opportunities to make your boss look good. Believe it or not, I'm not even talking about traditional brown nosing. I'm definitely not a fan of that. Instead, I'm talking about being careful about blatantly contradicting your boss in public, taking credit for ideas, showboating, or simply dropping the ball on important tasks or projects which reflect poorly on their leadership skills. Of course, it's important to always be honest and advocate for yourself as needed, but showing some level of deference to your superiors is generally a good idea. Also, humility is an underrated but powerful quality. If you feel, for example, your report turned out poorly in large part due to unclear direction from your manager, you might say something like, my apologies for missing the boat on the vendor selection portion, Jim. I didn't understand that you wanted to include specific criteria, but I can definitely rework it and get your revised version by the end of the week. Will that work? Avoid the temptation to simply verbalize your thought bubble. Jim, you know good and well you didn't say anything about including vendor selection criteria. I'm not a mind reader, dude. Next, look for ways to take something off your boss's plate. Let's face it, everyone is swamped and there are some people who seem to always add to your plate when you bump into them and others that take one or two items off your plate. You want to be the latter, not the former. What does that look like? It's often simple things like volunteering to take a few action items that come up in a meeting, volunteering to send out the calendar invite for an upcoming meeting with your boss, asking if he or she would like you to make a call or do some research to follow up on a new idea, or maybe offering to put their thoughts into a slide or spreadsheet to make them easier to share. Managers are often saddled with a lot of admin work and other simple, practical tasks that aren't terribly difficult or important, but just need to get done. If you're the type of person who regularly provides assistance with these tasks, you'll quickly become a very valued resource. Finally, questions are critical, but there really are dumb questions. Newer employees in particular are hesitant to ask questions out of fear of, of seeming dumb, I guess, but I find thoughtful questions to be very impressive. More importantly, most managers typically aren't crystal clear in their communications, so questioning plays a critical role in ensuring that the message is conveyed accurately. Having acknowledged the importance of questioning, I must also admit that I have heard some dumb questions in my day, and I've probably asked more than my share. If you're questioning because you weren't paying attention, 
or you're really questioning just to hear yourself talk or you fundamentally don't understand the basics of your business or your industry, you're likely better off saving it for a trusted friend or colleague instead who can help get you up to speed in a safe environment. If you're interested in additional tips for millennials, early career professionals, or anyone desiring to enhance their workplace effectiveness, please consider one of our professional development workshops. We offer workshops on a variety of topics, including professionalism and workplace productivity, project management, communication skills, meeting facilitation, leadership skills, work-life balance, and many other areas, including team building. Most importantly, our workshop won't be one of those dreadfully boring presentations or training sessions where you'd rather watch paint dry. Whether you're interested in a presentation for a team retreat, conference or lunch and learn, or a half or full day training workshop, the session will be highly interactive and packed with practical tips that participants can begin using immediately. Contact us today at info at professionalismmatters.com or call us at 678-777-7188.